we took the road less traveled from the very start. Everyone has their own path. This is ours. Our story. I grew up in this little beach town in Sweden and I always dreamt about learning how to surf. And um, when I was 20, it was finally time and I went to Hawaii. The first time I ever met Peter was at uh, the Honolulu International Airport. He was as lost as me, actually, and our luggage. In life, in an adventure like this, you need to find your soulmate. And I find him right there at the airport. We had the idea of starting out a surf academy or a uh, surf school back in Hawaii. Even at that time, like 20 years ago, we talked about that. Leaving Hawaii since it was time to grow up, the life back home was dramatically different, really. The conventional life was good, but it wasn't enough. We said, no, we got to, we got to get out of this. We got to break out. I think it's too low. Maybe we should go check out uh, Pantin or... Yeah, maybe even Valdovino. Valdovino could work. Yeah, Valdovino could work. Yeah, let's go, let's go. So for Academy, we've been probably teaching 10,000 Scandinavians how to surf, and it's extremely rare that, you know, people are not hooked. People come down with us, and uh, sometimes they come down and they have a lot of pressure on themselves. It doesn't matter if you, if you stand up on the first day or, or not. I mean, but if you just go in with a big smile and, and loving what you're doing, you will learn faster. So you put away all that pressure and you just say, go out and have fun, smile, and, and just enjoy the glide. It started off maybe as a lifestyle project, and now it's a life project, you know, and, and we're gonna grow old with this, and there's no expiry date. <laughs> 